3.3, polynomials and factory, okay? The most common type of algebraic expression is the polynomial. Example of polynomials. What, does anyone know an example of a polynomial? Such Okay, yes, there you go, Parker. At least you can read. 2x plus 5, uh, anything with a root in it, 3x to the 4th minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 4, that's a polynomial. Um, things with x's and y's, 6x squared y cubed minus 2xy plus 7, all polynomials, okay? Polynomials, we can graph polynomials, we can do things, we can factor polynomials, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The term of a polynomial <coughs> in x has the form ax to the k, where a is the coefficient, k is the degree of the term. So my coefficients are those numbers that are in front of the variables. And my degree is whatever the highest power is. The degrees are all of the powers, okay? So when they ask you what is the leading coefficient, it would be whatever um, number is in front of the highest power. Okay. The constant term, constant term, is just the number that's by itself, a plain number, a whole number. Okay. Um, in standard form, a polynomial in X is written with descending powers. So this is in standard form. This is in standard form because it's descending powers, 4, 2, 1. Okay. That's in standard form. Um, and the, uh, with one, two, and three terms are called mon monomials, binomials, and trinomials. So if they have a power that is one, it's a monomial. A power of two is a binomial. A power of three is a trinomial. Okay. Um, so they're going to give you on homework, you're going to have to be able to put things in order. Um, such as, let's see here, 4x squared minus 5x to the 7th minus 2 plus 3x. How would you place that in order? Write it in standard form. Okay. Good. Negative 5x to the 7th first plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. That is standard form. What is the, what are the coefficients in this? There's more than one. What are the coefficients? Okay, so some of my coefficients. Okay, so my, co yeah, negative 5, 4, and 3 are my coefficients. What's my constant? Negative 2 is my constant. What is my leading coefficient? Would it be what? Yeah, negative 5. And what is my um, degree? Seven is my highest power. Okay. So you're going to have to name all those things. You're going to have to put them in order and then name all those things. Okay? That's part one of this. Then part two would be sums and differences of polynomials, adding and subtracting polynomials. Let's say you have 5x cubed minus 7x squared minus 3 plus x cubed. Hallie Page, please come to the front office. Hallie Page. 
At Minus this time, please eight. dismiss the seventh grade to the gym for their picture, for their pictures, and please make sure that they bring their order forms. Thank you. Okay, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do here to add or subtract? Distributive. Okay, add the ones that are like terms. So I have a cube here, five x cubed, and I have a positive x cubed there. So what do I get? Six x cubed. Six x cubed. Here I have a negative seven x squared. Here I have a positive two x squared. So what do I get? Good, negative five x squared. Um, I have a negative three, but here I have a negative x, so I just bring it down. And then I have a negative three and a positive eight, so I get plus five. I've now added or subtracted, done whatever I need to do for that column up here. Um, what happens if I have this? Let's see here. Uh, seven x to the fourth minus x squared minus four x plus two minus parentheses three x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 3x, okay? When I do this one, this is where people mess up a lot. This negative has to be distributed into each of these portions. So here I have 7x to the fourth, but here I have a negative 3x to the fourth. What's 7x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth? Positive. 4x to the fourth. Then I have a negative x squared, and here I have a negative, negative 4x squared. So what happens there? It's a positive what? Positive 4 then? Okay. So then what's negative x squared plus 4x squared? 3x squared. Good one. Here I have a negative 4x, and here I have a 3x. So I have negative 4x minus plus positive 3x. What do you get? Negative 4x minus positive 3x. Negative 7x. This becomes a negative 3. That has to distribute in. Negative 7x. And then I'm just left with a 2. Okay. Now I combine like terms. So distribute that negative. Do not forget to do that. Bless you. Phew, thank you. Okay. The other thing is multiplying polynomials. Multiplying. You know how to multiply polynomials when we um, FOIL, yes? Okay. Multiplying polynomials. So let's say that we have um, 3x minus 2 and 5x plus 7. 3x minus 2 and 5x plus 7, and they say find the product. Product means to multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up as 3x minus 2 in parentheses times 5x plus 7 in parentheses. What do I do there? Foil. There we go. Foil. What is 3x times 5x? 15x squared. 15x squared. Good. What is 3x times 7? 21x, good. What is negative 2 times 5x? Negative 10x, awesome. And what is negative 2 times 7? Okay, am I done? No, what do you have to do now? Combine the middle parts, the, those um, parts that are saved. So I have 5x squared. What is 21x minus 10x? 11x minus 14. That's how I can multiply them together. Now, what happens if I multiply trinomials together? Okay, let's find the product of 4x squared plus x minus 2 times negative x squared plus 3x plus 5. Let's find the multiplication of that. Okay, there's a couple ways you can do it. 
You could still just FOIL everything out, like distribute 4x squared to all three parts of these, distribute x to all three parts, and negative 2 to all three parts. Personally, that's how I do it because I find it easier. Um, and then I add them up. But I line them up a certain way. So if we do this, what is 4x squared times negative x squared? No, 4x squared times negative x squared times negative 4x to the fourth. When you multiply a power by a power, you add them. Uh, negative 4x to the fourth. Now, what is 4x squared times 3x? 4x squared? 12x cubed, good. Plus 12x cubed. And what is 4x squared times 5? 20x squared. Good. Now, what is x times negative x? x times what? Negative x cubed. So I'm going to line that up underneath the cube. What is x times 3x? 3x squared. 3x squared. Line it up under the x squared. What is x times 5? So 5x is out here. Now, what is negative 2 times negative x squared? Negative 2. Yes. 2x squared. 2x squared. 2x squared. So I'm going to add, put the 2x squared right there. What is negative 2 times 3x? Negative 6x. So I put it underneath this. And what is negative 2 times 5? Negative 10. Now, I can add all of these together. Negative 4x to the 4th just drops down because there's nothing below it. So I have negative 4x to the 4th. What is 12x cubed plus negative x cubed? 12x cubed plus negative x cubed. Mm, no. Negative 11x cubed. Not negative 11. <laughs> Positive 11x cubed. Positive 11x cubed. That's possible. What is 20x squared plus 3x squared plus 2x squared? 25x squared. Good, Lindsay. What is 5x minus 6x? Negative x, yes. Negative 20x. And then the negative 10 drops down. Here is that trinomial multiplied by another trinomial. So you're going to have to show me work on that. Okay, you have to distribute it, distribute it into everything. Um, what? Okay, that is where we're stopping today. You don't have.